Hello and welcome. Today we're playing the convoy mode again. We're in the tier 8 Japanese heavy cruiser or aviation cruiser, the Tona. These are the captain skills and upgrades that I used. So we're on the defending side this time and as many people have noted and I agree with them the defending side is harder in convoy mode because you have to defend four liberty ships that only have about 22,000 HP and effectively no armor to speak of. And the enemy will intercept us and then try to hit the liberty ships. They don't actually have to sink us. At the same time though, I quite enjoy playing the defending side in convoy mode more than actually the attacker side because I can do things that I can't do in a random battle because the enemies aren't focused on me as their primary target so they might not just follow and chase me and when the liberty ships are able to be shot at they'll shoot them instead of me which is quite nice as a destroyer and well actually any ship class to be honest so as a Tone, I have access to planes, but usually you don't want to use them as long as you can really shoot your guns, unless you wish to force the enemy to turn a certain way. Because it takes a while to get the planes and into the air and strike them, and you probably won't do much that much more damage than just two salvos with your HE guns. Right now I'm using the island to... Uh, be in cover from the tepids. Tone is also really tanky for a heavy cruiser in that she has five heals and they're pretty decent heals. She also has access to torpedoes, decent firepower, hydro. It's an all around, oh and very good concealment. It's an all around really good cruiser. But of course there are better ones. Okay, right now I don't have a target to fire at because of where I am, so I decided to launch the torpedo bombers and I'm gonna go after that tuppets that is beaching. This means I should get a pretty easy drop off. Also another thing I like about the convoy mode is that the engagements are closer range. Like the convoy stuff really does force the encounters to be closer range. One thing I wish we did have though is I kind of wish we could try some other ship tiers as well in this mode. I think it could be quite fun. Wow, six hits, double flooding too, and a fire to follow up. I hope she doesn't have the damage control party, that'll be amazing. Nataga's reversing away. Oh, and the convoy has caught up with me, actually even slightly past me. The elite ships, the elite convoy ship will actually use uh, smokescreen. <laughs> wow, double flooding plus fire I guess was too much for that Tirpitz. That's really good, because now they're one battleship down. We did lose our aircraft carrier, but in this game mode I think aircraft carriers aren't nearly as powerful as they are in random battles, because Again, the focus is on the, well, at least on the defending side. I think the CVs aren't as powerful because the focus is on defending the, uh, the Liberty ships and the aircraft carriers take a while to be effective with their striking damage. And so the, the game mode tends to be faster. And as a result, the impact of CVs, at least on the defending side is less on the attacking side though. Some CVs are pretty ridiculous because they can easily take out the Liberty ship in like two strikes. But of course, that's what the team is for, right? You put like five ships next to the Liberty ship with AA and well, then the CV isn't gonna strike them. Which is exactly why we've lost the last Liberty ship, but not the forward ones, I guess. Because the last one obviously trailed behind. Wait, is that Bis was that Bismarck aiming at me? No. Right? She didn't aim at me. Huh. 
Okay. Well, I'm gonna start turning in, because this is their last battleship. I think their cruisers really should have engaged us alongside the battleship, because right now we kind of had a little bit of a divide and conquer situation here, where the enemies just didn't bring all their forces to bear at once. Sure, they took out one of the Liberty ships and our CV, the Tona and the Prince Eugen at the back, but... I mean... The other Liberty ships are further ahead from them, and now the Tona and the Prince Eugen are far behind. And it'll be really difficult for them to actually catch up with the Liberty ships, and... Honestly, you could just say that this is already over. Right? It's... it would be extremely difficult for them to come back from this now because the cruisers have just fallen too far behind and well the battleships are already all dead but i suppose the uh, liberty ships are fairly squishy though it's possible that they might do something i mean we still gotta finish them off at least the cruisers that is i don't think we'll ever get the enemy cv Come on, Atago, what are you doing? Also, these torpedoes really should run out already. Okay, there she is. She's still at two angle though. AP will not will only ricochet right now. But we're gonna wait. And we're gonna wait a little longer. Okay, I think. Never mind, I wanted to say I think right now is gonna be like a 50-50 on whether it ricochets or not. But she's already gone, so I guess we're gonna turn around and go after the Tona and the Prince Eugen. That would be a decent... I mean, I can shoot the Prince Eugen again, so it's probably not the best time to use the plane yet. I think I just got citadeled by the enemy Tona. Also, it is Tona, not Tone. Tone. Okay. Fifty-seven hundred. Five overprints and one pen. And let's just start the attack run right now. I don't expect too much, but the uh, torpedo bombers on these drop so many torps that there's plenty enough for both of them. And I guess now we can start slowly going in. Or wait, just wait until they head towards the convoy. I mean, they have to head towards the convoy, right? So all I have to do is just sit here and wait. They have to move out from behind that cover. Not that I'm necessarily going to wait for them, but if I wanted to play just to win, that's exactly what I do. I would just sit here and wait. Because every second that passes is going to put us further and further ahead. Because it'll be more and more difficult for them to catch up. Like imagine in this game mode right now, that there wasn't CVs and that my team was basically, I don't know, had like one ship defending the convoy other than me. Just me being here and forcing the enemy to turn away is already really useful because it means that they'll have to engage the convoy from a longer range, right? And so it'll take them much, much longer to actually sink ships in it. And this, this, this exact thing is what I really enjoy about convoy mode, especially on the defending side. Because... The focus isn't on the actual enemy ships, there's other objectives we're going for. Okay, goodbye Tona. I think she really should have played the ship until the very last moment. Like, the moment she saw her HP was gonna be dead, she should have launched her plane. But there goes Prince Eugen as well. And now the game is over. Because the CV is incapable of killing all three convoy ships in time. It just won't happen. It's pretty good. I mean, 108k damage. Sank four ships. Seven torp... Okay, never mind. That includes CV torps, so... Of course, it'll be seven torp hits. But yeah, this is pretty damn amazing. And this gave us... 1567 base XP as number one. And our only casualty was the CV. 33k from fires and floods. This time we're in the tier 8 French light cruiser de Bayard. 
I'm using these captain skills and upgrades. This is a very fast ship. It also has a reload booster and it's a light cruiser that just spews fire. The plan is, since I'm a really fast ship, to get further ahead from the convoy and to just start shelling the enemies from an angle they don't exactly expect at the start. And also just to use my speed and whatnot to engage and disengage enemies as I can. I mean, we just wish to draw fire while doing damage in return, right? Getting that salvo on that Benson was actually pretty good at the start, because there's only a single destroyer. Wait, wait, they've already lost a Harlem? Oh, the enemy Harlem for some reason decided to just YOLO into the team, into our team, and got taken out. I don't know what she was planning. But it does appear that one of our North Carolinas, because of that, has decided to stay behind. And I mean, if you look at it, that North Carolina is never going to catch up with that con with the convoy, right? I think you, if she turns around and just goes full speed, she still won't catch up with the convoy, or will catch up at like the very, very end of the map. Well, I think the enemy already knew that you were there for a while. I think the... wait, what? Oh, okay, I guess the lock broke or something. Anyway, just continue shelling the battleships. Amagi just got torped, so... She likely is going to use her damage control party, if she has one. Nobody is targeting me, so I might as well just... Oh, okay. Well, that's their second ship down. Next up, I guess it's Admiral Hipper then. Or Benson, if she... I could I could surprise the Benson by going around the island. And I will have Reload Booster then as well. I could shell the Hipper, but that would possibly give away... Well, that would give away that I'm here. And I think surprising the Benson might be more important because Benson is going to try to torp the convoy. I mean, she'll probably succeed in torping the convoy. But... If she gets away, she gets to do that again. And that would obviously be bad for business. Okay, I'm gonna take a few shots, just to make sure that the hipper actually goes down. Okay, I suppose that was unnecessary. Oh, and there's the Benson. Hello. Would you like some reload booster? It's delicious. For me, that is. A Benson. And goodbye. I guess we'll just continue shelling the... Uh, no, I, I'll just stop right here. I can wait. My concealment is also really good. Actually, it's the same as the Tones. 8.8 kilometers. Wow. That's a coincidence. I'll just maneuver between these two islands. Actually, I could just sit and wait here until the North Carolina pushes. But I think I'll just torp and then turn around. Because these are, after all, still battleships. And, you know, battleships can be scary against a cruiser. The Bayard has pretty damn weak armor, though. Like, if a battleship looks at you wrong, you can very, very easily go down. But anyway, this... this... we pretty much already won, though. They aren't in a good position to intercept the convoy. And they are North Carolina and Alabama, not exactly the secondary powerhouse that a Massachusetts is. So might as well take a few riskier shots, but... Wow, 5k. <laughs> and a fire, too. Well, 3k and another fire. Hello, Alabama. Would you like some as well? Oh, <laughs> I rammed the Liberty ship. Whoops. <laughs> I mean, this you can't even be angry, right? Because it's a bot. It just takes its path. Oh, Albemarle. You know you're a pretty soft target against the HE. Okay, that follow-up wasn't nearly as powerful as the earlier one. Goodbye, Albemarle. 
It was nice knowing you. I did waste a little bit of that uh, reload booster. I should have probably just sped up earlier. And I could have taken a few salvos on the North Carolina instead. She's going forward. I think she has the acceleration upgrade because she's going forward really quickly again. Luckily though, this just meant that I hit the stern of the ship. And hey, now I get to use the smokescreen provided by the convoy, which is also always an option. I think um, on the attacking side, cruisers with radar are incredibly useful. Because ships can hide in that smoke screen, and it gets even worse if the players decide to smoke the uh, convoy ships themselves too, right? Because something like, um, I don't know, a Benson could go ahead of the convoy and put a really long smoke screen down. It would be funnier if we had stuff like Perth in this game mode. Speaking of which, I think it would be fun to play this game mode at other tiers too. And that's something that Wargaming could consider, but I suppose it might break matchmaking a little. Because people will be spread out over different tiers. Come on, Alabama. Just stay and fight. Wait. There's like... Like 10 targets available and she picks me. Why? But anyway, goodbye, Alabama. This time, you were not the winner. Oh, and none of the convoy ships went down, so we probably got safe passage, right? Yeah, we got safe passage. Win a battle without losing a single transport ship. Damage cost to the enemy ships must exceed 50% of their ship's normal HP. Yeah, I've gotten a few safe passages before. Or, well, since this match. And I was actually number one, 1456 base XP. Pretty good. So... I mean, defense can still be done, can it not? So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support. And I hope I'll see you guys next time.